Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video, let's talk about anti-skating. I'm going to demo here about how to adjust your anti-skating, but before that, let's listen to the record I have. This record, still the same record I'm using in my last video, the wow and flutter. And if you see this part here, this shiny part, this is where I test my anti-skating. First, I'm going to demo this Lenko. I'm going to test my Lenko B52. This turntable don't have the anti-skating. I cannot adjust my anti-skating. But then, I'm going to try to test if the adjustments here, the factory adjustment, the bearing, the V block here, are all in a perfect condition. Before that, let's listen to the instruction and some tips about what is anti-skating. Friction between the stylus and the record produces a force which makes the arm try to swing towards the record center. Because of this, the stylus tends to be in closer contact with one side of the groove than the other. Some arms have a bias adjuster to compensate for this undesirable effect. Place your pickup cartridge midway across the ungrooved band which follows while the turntable is rotating and if the bias is correctly adjusted the arm should remain in the same place. We assume of course that you have checked that your turntable is level. Incidentally there are more tests following this ungrooved band. I'm going to place my arm to the blank part and if my Lenko B52 is properly adjusted it will remain on the same place it will not skid going inside I will place my arm on the outer part and let's check no movement no skid center very stable guys inner part the same center very stable my arm remain in the same place it means that my Lenko B52 no problem in anti-skating even though my unit don't have the anti-skating adjustment and now let's test a record player with an anti-skating and here I have a turntable and this is Technics SL3100 with anti-skating I set the anti-skating to 1.5 because my tracking force is 1.5 that is the basic adjustment of the anti-skating if you have a 1.5 grams in your tracking force or the stylus pressure set your anti-skating to 1.5 if some of you don't know how to adjust your tracking force I have a link below this video just click that link and it will guide you up to the end of the video how to adjust your tracking force because you cannot adjust your anti-skating if you don't know how to adjust your tracking force I'm gonna place my arm to the blank part and I set my anti-skating to 1.5 And as you can see guys, there is a minor movement. Then I will go to the center. Still a minor movement because this 
disk my tester it has a small warp guys because this is already used there so I'm going to adjust my anti skating to 3 this is what happened guys there see it will go back or skid going out there this is number three of your anti-skating or there are some turntables has a four or five position but since I have my techniques SL3100 it has only three position one two and three and the last is zero I'm going to set this to zero let's check this arm what happened okay I'm gonna place this one on the blank part there you see it will skid going inside this is the effect if you have a turntable with anti-skating and you don't adjust the anti-skating and I'm gonna set this back to 1.5 I will just try to set here on the starting point okay or in in a part where there's a groove I'm going to set this to 1.5 let's see there it needs a refinement okay but it is stable now okay there's a movement so you need to fine-tune your anti-skating because you have the anti-skating unlike my Lenko B52 very stable because that turntable is a factory setting so it is I will say it is very precise my Lenko B52 no movement unlike this one it has a movement because you need to adjust your anti-skating so hope it helps you guys about anti-skating and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching